Hi everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome, thank you for coming back. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below or clicking on the Ann Makes in the bottom corner of the screen. Also, <clears throat> there's supposed to be a bell and if you click on that, you will receive notifications of whenever I post a new video. So on my channel here, as and makes you will see me do lots of store hauls especially dollar store hauls and I mostly shop there for all the wonderful crafting supplies that I can find and the other videos I do are all DIYs and how to's for lots of crafty fun stuff so today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you so I've been to a few Dollar Trees in the last few days and I have a good amount of stuff. So I'm going to limit this to 15 to 20 minute videos so they're not too long and I keep you interested. So let's get started, shall we? So the first thing I have to share with you is I saw these lovely wall decals and they are easy on, easy off wall stickers. And I just thought these were so, so lovely. And how cute would these look in a child's nursery? Or I just thought I would like to have these, period, for decorating uh, some notebooks or my planners. And I just, I just love the theme of these cute little woodland creatures. And yeah, so I just love that. Uh, the second one that I found I just had to get, it's Super Mario. Now it says here that there's only 11, there's 11 wall decals and look at that. It's it's funny because with, with the licensed wall decals, you seem to only get one side. There's nothing on the other side. So I guess uh, you, got a you pay a little bit more for the licensed uh, wall stickers. And yeah, so I got Super Mario. My my son loved Super Mario, so I just thought this would be a fun thing to give him. Maybe he would like to put a few of these maybe on the back of his laptop or in his office. So that's, that's why I got that for him. But he doesn't know yet. Shh. <laughs> so of course, you know, my trips to Dollar Tree are never complete without my picking up some snacks. And this was no exception. Uh, this time I picked up the Twizzlers and the Cherry. Uh, haven't had these in a while, so I thought it would be nice to munch on. Some other goodies I picked up were the Apple Bar cookies from Family Choice. They're a lot like fig gluten cookies. So they're very really yummy. And, you know, they're, they're kind of healthy. They have fruit. And this is new uh, at my Dollar Tree. It's these Crofts crackers, cream crackers. And uh, this is new at my Dollar Trees. It is some biscotti. And these are lemon flavored. And this is something that's made in Canada. Uh, like I said, it's completely new to the Dollar Trees. And... It's made in uh, Montreal, Quebec, so yeah, so I'm going to try these. And they come in three different flavors, and I got the lemon and the almond, and they also had a chocolate one, but uh, I just thought we'd try these ones for now and see how we like them. And finally, uh, another... I think this is the last food item I have to share with you. Uh, it's some um, oven-ready lasagna. <clears throat> uh, the Vitale brand. <clears throat> <clears throat> some oven-baked lasagna. The Vitale brand. 375 grams. This is such a good deal. Uh, for $1.25 because I'm in Canada. Uh, it's such a good buy versus paying like $4 I think for a box of lasagna at the grocery store. Yeah. Yes, please. And I bought a box because we used a box uh, on the weekend to make a delicious lasagna. So, 
soon as that box was being used, I put it on my shopping list to buy a new one. And here, oh, I also got a pack of the Strawberry Twizzlers, which is the flavor we tend to uh, eat more often. And so in the aisle where they have the socks and stuff, they had new socks for men. <clears throat> they had they had new dress socks for men. So these are the the these are the Vanucci uh, Couture brand of socks, and they are natural fiber cotton socks. They are hand looped toe for ultimate comfort it says mercerized cotton socks so I got this and there, there's a pattern on them I don't know if you can see that it's kind of a little bit texture pattern they're very very thin uh, dress socks and then I got this shade this green very very nice socks and then I saw this pair these ones are thicker uh, black with these these stripes and um, yeah my my husband wears dress socks every day for his job so uh, I got some Halloween creepy cloth I got the beige color uh, this is fun for lots of projects in the craft room and of course for Halloween decorating so got that I saw these key ring clips in the gold tone, which had were not at my store uh, before. They had, I guess, just found these in the back store and there was some space on the shelf, so they put these out. So I grabbed several packages because I know that my store sells out fairly quickly of the jewelry findings. So I got a few packages uh, of those so I would have enough for any projects that I want to do and last one time I, I went to Dollar Tree and I had bought these little blinky lights they're called bike lights and I thought they were they were a good thing to have for safety reasons to use when uh, walking uh, either in early morning or in the evening uh, or using our bicycles at those times to be seen by oncoming uh, drivers so uh, I got a few more of these for my family and I will I think I will use these as stocking stuffers so or maybe I should just give them now because they'll we we need to use those more now than we will after Christmas I think yeah <laughs> Uh, this is new at uh, my Dollar Tree, the fabric refresher in the Japanese cherry blossom. I purchased and used the other um, blue bottle of fabric refresher they had, and um, without it, I think it's a, a good price and a good deal for what it is. But uh, this one is nice. It's a it, and this one is new and it's a lovely scent, Japanese cherry blossom. So. Just thought, hey, why not make uh, my rooms smell nice? And a oh, funny thing is, as I was driving along, I noticed the windshield of my car was literally covered in bug splatters. <laughs> well, splattered bugs, I guess I should say. And I kept uh, trying to... Um, get my window clean with the windshield washing fluid and the wipers and my goodness there's so many <laughs> dead bugs on my windshield that I, I, I couldn't it wouldn't clean half of it like it cleaned half but there was still like a lot left so I while I was in the store I got a bottle of uh, window cleaner so I could clean my windshield when I got out of the store because it was just driving me nuts all those dead bugs on my windshield and lo and behold wouldn't you know it when I got out of the store and I got in I got out of the store got into my car and I realized oh yeah I need I want I see my windshield I'm like I need to clean 
I need to spray this on the, the windows before I take off. It started to rain. <laughs> so, well, you know, it is, oh, I'm not gonna do that now. And then the rain kinda whoosh, washed away the dead bugs. So, <laughs> that's funny thing. Uh, I picked up two more of these wire reefs, the circle ones, uh, just because I think I, they're good to have. And then uh, when I'm inspired to make reefs, I like to make several because we have several doors on our house. So I just thought, you know what, I'll buy two more forms that way. I won't do like I've done previous years, just make two for our double doors and then say, oh, I wish I had two. I had two more to put on the other doors. And so, you know. I'll have my reefs. And, um, oh, I picked this up. I've seen other people haul these like little, there's like little, I call this a ring holder and just a little cup, uh, saucer, I mean. And it's just something that to put by the sink or on your desk. It's just to catch, you know, you just put little things in there. And it's a good place to put like your earrings or your rings when you wash your hands. And I just thought, I need this by the sink in my bathroom. And uh, finally saw them at my store, but they, didn't, they really didn't have a lot of these. And I got this one. It's a little white feather, just a white plate. We'll go with the other stuff in my uh, bathroom. And speaking of in the bathroom, they had these new pumice stones and they have them in these pretty colors. There's like a rubber grip around here and it's a nice size. You can, you can grab this really well to, you know, soften your feet and stuff in the shower. So I thought, oh, this is, this will make a nice little gift stocking stuffer and be great to use in the shower so yep I got that and in it was uh, this caught my eye um, where they have the bridal and uh, new baby section of things right where the gift bags are they have these wooden coasters and they come in a pack of two yep two and they're Ooh, they're almost four inches in diameter almost and they have lines on them and it's bride and groom and it says at the top here it says advice for bride and groom I just thought isn't that sweet what a nice idea to have the you know to have a bunch of these at a wedding and you know provide some uh, permanent ink pens and I would suggest a fine point for this, so it looks nice. Uh, and you know, the guests can give advice to the bride and groom. You know, whether it's loving and sweet and supportive advice or even funny. And they and the bride and groom can keep this as a keep a keepsake, but also as a souvenir of their own wedding. And they could bring this into their homes after and use these as actual coasters. I said that is really a sweet. So I just thought I would uh, tell you about this, and, and I thought, well, I could use these, I'm already married, but I could reuse these to decorate them and make some nice coasters for my own home or to give as a gift. And they're just a nice thickness of wood. They're pretty, and now I could cover these up. I can paint these or I can Mod Podge them. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, uh, the last two things I have to show you, this, this is not a very big haul, uh, is the tapes, these decorative tapes or, you know, paper type, washi type tapes. Uh, I got this design and the one with the banners. Uh, this is really cute to use. So that's it for uh, my Dollar Tree, this Dollar Tree haul. Uh, it's not a, it's yeah, that's it. It's not as big as some of my other hauls. My Dollar Tree has like sold out of most of the fall decor. Uh, August is not even over, and they they're out of autumn decor. It's crazy, and there's actually bare shelves and bare walls. Oh. I mean, if I was the type to overreact and panic, I would be like, oh my goodness, Dollar Tree's getting rid of all its 
flowers and home decor stuff because at my store at my store those are like depleted empty white space <laughs> but uh, I know they they were expecting a, a delivery earlier in the week and I did go back a few days later and they still had not um, unboxed everything and put it back on and put anything on the shelf so my store is a little bit slow and to you know getting their act together but that's okay they're understaffed they understand it's not their fault they're understaffed and they don't have uh reliable employees and some employees just don't show up for work so uh yeah so that's it for this dollar tree haul i hope you um found something interesting maybe you were inspired to uh buy something at the dollar tree and you know alter it for uh, a fun diy uh thanks so much for supporting this channel it means a lot to you to me i would appreciate a like a thumbs up please comment don't forget to share sharing is caring and take care of yourself stay crafty bye